this is the new EQS. Look at this. Holy <laughs> shit. Not bad. Hey, Q enthusiasts. Welcome to the next episode. Today we're in Monaco because I got a video message from Nick De Vries, one of our Mercedes EQ Formula E drivers. Hey, Dennis, it's Nick. I've been told that you like electric racing. So hereby, I invite you to Monaco to tell and learn you all about it. See you then. Of course, I also got a little surprise with me, which is already waiting on the harbor. It's the brand new EQS. And let's see what he will say when we'll go for a spin through the iconic circuit and to some beautiful and hidden places here in Monaco. Come on. Hola, good morning. How are you doing? Very good, thank you. Thanks for the invitation, man. Welcome. Really looking forward to this day. Happy to have you here. Uh, let's face it, Nick, you're a race driver. You're living in Monaco. Uh, when talking about cars, there's probably nothing you haven't seen so far. But however, I'll take the chance today to impress you with something that you haven't seen on these streets. Let's go for it. All we have to do is to grab our escorters and drive down to the harbor. I'll follow you. Let's go. Nick. There we are. What do you think? I promise you won't be disappointed. This is the new EQS, brand new. What do you think? Honestly, I think the shapes and the roundings are really, really nice. I call it seamless design and it's the most aerodynamic production car in the world. Ah, so that's why they have the, the closed rims. True, that's one reason for a range up to 770 kilometers. Without having to charge. Yeah, that's and true. all the stars effects really... It's a little pattern star and you can also have it in the, in the black panel in front. Very beautiful. Fits perfectly into the scenery here. I agree. Let's, Let's open all the doors. Okay. Let's have a look at the interior. I'll show you some very, very special feature. So I take, I take the driver's seat. No, 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 no. I'll no. take the driver's seat. I choose the road then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's get inside. And wow. wow. That's the MBUX hyper screen. Oh. You press. The, okay. Let me. I press the brakes and the door closes. And the close door opens. I'll show you how to close the rest of the doors. We go here. And then close all doors, hold for five seconds, and it comes. Did you invent this car? No, 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 but I'm well informed, you know. <laughs> I have a screen in front of me. Three screens under covered glass. That's pretty amazing, right? Really Merged nice. into one. What, what do you think about the interior? I like the wood It looks like a yard. And, yeah. And it fits perfectly into the surrounding. Let me, let me show you this. Where do we go? So I have a, I have a screen as well. You can. Uh, I can I can choose start the road. the navigation there. Let's go to the racetrack. And this is the last corner entering the the, the main straight. The main straight. The main straight. I yeah. drove it so many times on my video console. Ah, video yeah, yeah, yeah. video games. On yeah. PlayStation, it was so. Yeah, I should probably know the track very well. You know well. where to go left and left and right. Yes. So this, this is, is the start main and track. finish. Correct. Going. Yes. And afterwards we're arriving at Santé Volt. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I don't know all the French names. I, I know most of them, but as a as a kind of racing team, we always speak in corner numbers because it's just. Oh really? Yeah. And just a shorter and and corner quicker. Corner number one or what yeah, do you say? T uh, one. So normally we would obviously drive around this uh -huh. curb that is placed over there. What? It's so famous, the streets. Can't believe that we're but, driving but, this circuit. But honest, in a race car, it feels just magical. It feels different. In a road car, you're higher, you know, you have a view, but when you're in a single seater, low to the ground, yeah. when you're driving up this hill, it it just has a it How has does a it feel to, to drive it in the EQS? It's so comfortable, right? It's like uh, sitting in a sofa at home. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're coming uphill. This is a very tricky part because as you can see here, it's almost blind. Yeah. And the car here over the crest becomes a little bit light. Uh -huh. And when you start braking, it always moves a bit. 
and that's you see the the kind of locking marks from people that lock mm -hmm. the inside wheel so that's always a bit of a, a sketchy feeling uh, as a driver there's a funny fact about you i heard that you were as a kid you were a little bit afraid of noise not of speed or driving just of anything which had noise is that right yeah that that's that's very is true is that the reason why you've chosen <laughs> formula e well ironically i end up in formula <laughs> e that doesn't have any any sound and noise so yeah you could argue that it was meant to be um, yeah, as a kid, I was a bit afraid for, for noises. I, I obviously got over it eventually, but um, it's, it's a funny fact that I'm now racing in, in Formula E. But, but you have to, I have to be honest, I mean, sitting here now, enjoying the ride, not having any noises, I mean, it's, it's actually nicer, right? Which car number? This is 7, and we are approaching D8. If I would wake you up in the night, you could tell me this is 7, right? Yeah, well, of course, <laughs> of course, of course. And this is a poor, poor, I don't know, we call it entrance tunnel. If we go left, we go to my house. But now we're entering one of the world's most famous tunnels. Tunnels, yes. So we switch into sport mode. Yeah. And now entering the tunnel and I will show you something that will impress you. Okay. Look at this. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Not bad. That's impressive. pretty impressive. Yeah. The power is and huge. It, it even makes some noise. It, it's like yeah. you're in a... Because of sport mode. Nice, they the did it. Power, they did a good it job kicks in, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, That's what I really like about electric You surprised me. You caught me up at that one. Yeah. Well, I can hear the team radio now. The guys are saying, hey guys, Dennis, you're, you have been the fastest sector so far on this okay. lap. Okay. But Nick is right behind you and he wants to get in, in the driver's seat. <laughs> in the car, yeah. Let's swap around. Okay, copy that, guys. Copy that. <laughs> I, I know some nice roads up in the hills. It's uh, Let's nice go there and, and switch here. seats. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful scenery well, here. honestly, yes. We're going uphill I will. and I'm really looking forward to see your driving skills or to feel your driving feel skills. Me. So you're, oh my god. I, I like the, the sound because it makes you feel uh -huh. like, you know, something really is happening. It's really, really fast. Honestly, the power is instant. It kicks in straight away. Straight away, yeah. Nick, let's, let's see some parallels between driving and recuperate in an everyday car like the EQS yep. and comp in comparison with a race car. How do you use the, the pedals on a steering wheel? So first of all, I think it's, it's cool that the EQS actually has these kind of pedals because it's you know, exactly the same how, how we have it in a Formula E car. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, the moment you pull the pedal, that's the moment the recuperation starts. And in the EQS, it's, it's slightly different, a little bit more convenient for the daily, daily, uh, user. Mm -hmm. daily user and, 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 and driver on, on the normal roads. So uh, you have three positions, the normal recuperation, no recuperation, and D minus one, which is increased recuperation. Yeah. So now we are, for example, going downhill. Mm -hmm. We are, there's no need to actually accelerate. We are going fast enough and we have a little corner coming up. So at the moment, I think we should be increased recuperation. D minus? D minus, and I don't even need to brake. I don't need to brake. <laughs> wow. Then I release it before the corner. Uh -huh. I still haven't touched the throttle and the brake. And now I start to accelerate a little bit out of the corner. And that's how you do it in the race car as well? Yes, exactly the same principles count. But now here, it's a little bit easier for everyday use. Exactly. So that every yeah. customer can, can use it. But at the end of the day, it's about driving efficient. Mm -hmm. And that is about you know, maintaining the speed, letting the car coast. And when you do need to slow down, you obviously want to use the re recuperation so that you're actually gaining back yeah. some energy. Cool. So now there's a speed bump ahead. Mm -hmm. We go for D minus D one. D minus, increased we recuperation. We slow down and now we slow down enough. We release <laughs> and then we accelerate. Oh, wow, that's impressive. That's so really same impressive. principles as, as, as on the racetrack. Cool. Um, I want to do some speed date with you. A glass of wine or a bottle of champagne? Bottle of champagne. If you weren't a Formula E driver, what would you be instead? I don't know. <laughs> okay, what would you prefer? Electric G-Class or EQ AMG? Electric G-Class. What inspires you? The desire to get better and ultimately the best in what we are doing. What does winning mean to you? 
It's everything I live for. Singing in the car or under the shower? Car. What kind of music? Anything. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> On weekends, good movie or a good book? How can you best relax? A good movie. With the girlfriend. Okay, cool. How often do you check your social media accounts? I, I know it. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> it, 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 it really depends. Like, if I'm, if I'm home um, with, you know, family, friends, my girlfriend, I, I could not look at it for two days. Mm -hmm. But if I'm alone, traveling, it's also a little bit part of our job. So it's just like you happen to look at it because it's in a True. way necessary. Yeah. Even though I sometimes you have don't to answer them like very, it. very shortly and quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, but okay. I, I don't know. What so short the next one will be that. very tough. Okay? okay. Be prepared. Winning the world title, Stoffel van Dorn or the Dutch football team? <sighs> This is a very tough one. You have to decide. I use my joker. I honest, I honestly can't decide. I want to. I think, or we want to achieve together as a team. But mm -hmm. as a Dutch, I can't let my country down, and I can't let you know your teammate down. Um, yeah, my teammate down either. So okay, there is no, there is basically both situations that would lose. So last question. I live in in Berlin, Germany, and I've seen that the last race uh, of this championship will take place uh, in Berlin in August. Okay. Yeah. So are we celebrating your championship there together in August? I think that's a very good plan. Yeah? Yeah, and I, I, I trust you in choosing the right club. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll do my best. I'll yeah. do my best. There was our little speed date and now we're up for some speed on the street again. Wonderful view. Let's check this out. Wow. Nick, what a wonderful and outstanding day here in Monaco. Thank you so much. It has been a pleasure You're being welcome. here with you. So guys, I'll skip the summary. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. If so, like it and share it with your friends. And cheers from Monaco. See you next time and we should go for another lap. I'll give you the keys. Thanks, mate. Yeah, come.